Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Webform. Today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of a uh, shopping cart project that is in a uh, just open login.aspx.cs uh, file and when uh, your uh, role is admin, uh, I mean to say that when your configuration is done uh, after the SQL connection and command and uh, retrieving data from the sign up table then you have to check the role is admin. If the role is admin um, in the sign up table then session store a role that with the admin and response dot redirect with the admin page uh, admin in the admin directory with the welcome dot aspx page else uh, if a role is not an admin i mean to say that role uh, within a user so just use else if and uh, and check the role is user role is user is double equals to user you can say and that redirect uh, to the home page if a uh, role is an user and session store a role that is user and uh, user is an authenticated user you can say so it's a simple thing you can add by using session so user okay just save it and similarly you have to check uh, if a role is double equals to null or you can say that a role is string or empty is null then uh, similarly you have to uh, just response dot redirect with the home page so that is the credentials apply on in your shopping cart projects string dot is null or an empty and role and after that you have to response dot redirect that is home dot asps okay that's cool so in the login page you have to check it and after that you can see that connection string dot aspx uh, connection string of the login page is an empty you can check so just uh, copy that connection string and uh, paste under connection string and also you can see that uh, it's not a parameters in the sign up uh, just after the command SQL command. So cmd.parameters.add with value with the command that is email and the password. So here we have two uh, SQL parameters and email is you can see just copy and paste it email from the email text box and the password from the password text box. Okay, let's have to check it the email text box ID property. So just open dot source page of the login dot ASPX and you can see that uh, unnecessary styles is applied on the table and uh, also in the login page you can say so just remove that and just look at cool just double click on it very good it's an okay and check the ID property of the login um, email text and the, similarly we have that password text so uh, just applied on it email that is email text or text and the password is the password text or text okay so it's cool pretty simple now saved it and you can see that the login.aspx is okay so just add xyz at the rate of gmail.com yeah that is the admin role is an admin and if you have to check uh, is the another user that is uh, you have to check in the sql server database just right click on the uh, table name and check the user that is role is in user so just add kumar and that password is this kumar one two three four yeah that is after uh, doing this you have to check uh, sign up order history scart buttons uh, available on the uh, site dot master file that is the master file just add it here in the master file just after the contact uh, you remove that link just you ha you have to add a link buttons <coughs> as well as a label so link button at here that is the link button text property just remove that and use sign up and the login also you have to say that login oops login 
and ally is missing so just add it ally tag and similarly you have to just copy that and paste for more times okay so that is for cart and the next one is for order okay so and also you can add a label control just after the sign uh, login okay so just after the login you have to add a new light tag a label control just after that just copy that and uh, change welcome actually it's not a, lo a link button uh, it's a label control so just remove that and paste a label control okay so uh, just a text property will be changed and also the uh, id property will be changed the text property is empty and the id property of the sign up button is uh, sign up btn is the id property of the sign up button and similarly login button is a login dot a login btn and uh, similarly welcome lbl and cart btn and order btn okay so it's simple now just open your home.aspx file you can browser yeah it's sign up login cart order is there but uh, the cart and the uh, order when seen when uh, whenever a uh, whenever a customer or admin uh, will login into the system then uh, that will be uh, that or you can say that authenticated user will see uh, that links like cart and the orders and after that you have to add a new button control just after that in the home.aspx file in the data list control so add a button control and the text property is the view more okay so you have to check home.aspx yeah is there view more and in the oops it's letter videos i will show it that click event handling on the button control view more so in the login sign up cart and one another one another link button that is the logout button so log logout btn and the logout is the text property of the link label that is the in the page load you have to add session email is not equals to null if session email is not equals to null that that means sign up button dot visible false login button dot visible false i mean to say that a authenticated user will open that page okay so similarly welcome label log uh, logout button is uh, true so welcome label dot visible true and uh, So yeah there sign up visible visibility of these all controls are default is the false so set is false just paste it visible false visible false okay and welcome lbl dot visibility is true and logout button dot visible dot equals to true oops login it's not login it's a logout so logout button uh, dot visibility is true and similarly we have to card btn and order but uh, btn is visibility is true because for the authenticated user uh, both buttons are true so order btn dot visible is true if uh, session email is null default then you you have to see that else and just copy that and paste it here and just opposite that false becomes true and 
true becomes false okay so it's false and uh, logout button also false card button visibility false and order VTN false you have to check it it is working or not so just open home.aspx file and view in browser you have to see that uh, sign up and login button is there when click on the login button so just handling is applied on uh, in the link label button so just on click is create a new event handling this is sign up button click and on click create new event handling just uh, add it and logout button login button sign up button is response dot redirect double quotations that is sign up dot aspx and in the login button we have to say that login dot aspx okay that's fine now after that view in browser again and we'll just click on login password is there yeah logout cart welcome okay so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos uh, in asp.net uh, web form and shopping cart you can see and a link button is visibility is false but you have to say that logout also check it and remaining all these so on click is logout button click and uh, on click for the card button on click for the order history so thank you guys and keep watching our remaining videos or related to shopping cart project in web form Thank you very much.